Um, what to say about the Anglink uh, wind-up radio and charger? I've been using it now for a couple of weeks. It's a little bit frustrating. Um, just say the LED torch works really well because it doesn't take a lot of power, and and that's a great feature of it. It's probably its best feature and. If you're actually interested in a torch that doesn't need batteries, then that's something good about this. My main issue with this, this unit, is um, that it doesn't stay powered for long enough. If you charge it, I think it's better, but the whole point of this is that you should be able to wind this for a minute, and I would want half an hour of playback for that minute's effort and then if you're on the riverbank fishing or if you're out camping um, that's not too much to ask so for example let's 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 show you one of the issues so we'll turn it on it's quite tricky to get tuned in and I don't mind monotone speaker systems and it's got an, it's actually got a decent amount of punch Obviously it distorts at high levels, so you don't want it too, too loud. And if it, if it actually gets a bit of sunlight, then it, it also helps. And then it could possibly even power itself. But if, you're, if you don't have sunlight, then you're reliant on the winder. And, and it takes too much to wind. So the power's going already. Let's see. It's starting to go now. So when it's left alone. I thought it would be very cool as well that it could just, for example, you could just plug your iPhone in there and literally wind it and charge it, but that's not the case. Um, even though you're winding, it's not enough to pump battery into the iPhone. So, so this, it, it doesn't store enough charge, it takes too much to put in. So basically, if you wind it for a minute, I, I get maybe three minutes of radio. With the solar, it helps a lot, um, but on a on a non sunny day, this would have already have cut out, and it's it's actually disproved me now. But anyway, that's the An Anglink um, rechargeable radio. So one really cool thing might be if you're very remote and and have something like a, a fitness tracker or something that doesn't take much power at all, then you can probably charge that heat from from this, which which you can charge from the winding. Um, and you can also charge it up by the normal USB jack. So there's two options there. It's so it's got its uses. Um, I wanted it for a wind-up radio, so it's actually starting to fade now, as it needs. It's 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 gone. So if I give it, now if it lasted five minutes for that small amount, that would be fine. But it won't even last um, last that. Don't know that I get you get any WB wideband? No idea. Let's see. So that's it really, um, annoying that it doesn't doesn't hold or doesn't work long enough after you've wound it up, that's, that's my only annoyance with it, um, but really handy to know that you've got a, a light that you don't even have to worry about batteries with, that's super, super handy. Ah, see it's already going, 
I'm switching it on and there's no light, so if I power it, it's got some power. Let's see, see how long it lasts. I barely cranked it, so the light's going now. It's gone. So that functionality is quite handy. You can just give it a quick pump and you've got a flashlight in times of emergencies. That is very handy. I think the quality of the speaker is fine and it, it tunes okay, although digital search might have been better. Um, so that, that's all I can say about it really. So whether that's going to be suitable for you or not is down to you. But I um, hope you liked the video. Thanks. Please share. Bye.